Please welcome Apple IT expert, Katie English. Hey, Jamf Nation. Thanks so much for joining us for the Commercial State of the Union. My name is Katie English. I'm on the product team at Jamf. I've been at Jamf a long time. I was an admin a long time before that, which means just like Jamf, I've been in this business for over 20 years and that's wild. So it is great to see so many familiar faces and I'm delighted to make some new friends this week as well. Today during the State of the Union, we are going to expand on what you heard during the keynote and how you can go further with Jamf and Apple. We still are focused on our mission of helping organizations succeed with Apple because Apple continues to grow and be the best choice for so many organizations. And this year we've been doubling down on our product efforts to focus on you, the Apple admin, and the Apple endpoints under your care. We've been working on making your job easier, so let's get down to it and talk about making your job easier. And that starts with our foundation, our flagship, our bedrock, Jamf Pro. We have been very focused on modernizing to leverage the latest Apple technology. And this year that has meant that we've been bringing you innovative features and capabilities to help you succeed with managing and securing your devices. And it all starts with enrollment. Last month, we brought you minimum OS enforcement at the time of enrollment in Jamf Pro, ensuring that your devices don't get into management and therefore don't get access to sensitive organizational data until they meet a baseline threshold of security compliance by way of the operating system being patched. You get immediate baseline device security at the time of enrollment, and then you can start layering your requirements right over top, including those local uh, ac accounts with those critical admin passwords. Now, local administrator passwords have been a tough challenge. In the past, sometimes they were really tedious because you were managing your own homebrew solution to manage them, or it was really insecure because of a single shared password that way too many people knew. So we dug in to start helping solve this problem. In Jamf Pro 10.45, we brought you local admin password solution via Jamf Pro API for ad the admin account created during automated device enrollment using a pre-stage. That was just the start. Then we started iterating. In Jamf Pro 10.49, we brought you support for the Jamf management account in user-initiated enrollment. And then in Jamf Pro 11.3, we allowed you to view passwords and audit history for those local password admin accounts. But we knew we weren't done, and you told us that loud and clear last year, JNOC 2023, when you said you had to have that information in the Jamf Pro web UI. And so in Jamf Pro 11.5, released this past May, we brought you the ability to view and modify global lap settings in the UI, including password rotation intervals. Passwords, yeah. So we've started with our minimum device compliance by way of the operating system. We've added in that local admin account password and now you got to manage and integrate with your critical management and reporting infrastructure. And that's why we've improved device compliance by integrating with Microsoft's latest partner compliance management API and bringing it to more cloud environments. And if you're interested to preview Microsoft's platform single sign-on functionality, you can bring phishing resistant credentials for easy logins, especially when you combine it with local account provisioning with Jamf Connect. These workflows are super powerful. We have a couple great breakout sessions. Make sure you check them out. First one is Break Glass, and that is later today. And then Modern Identity Management, which will be on Thursday morning. Of course, as you saw in the keynote, all different kinds of Apple devices benefit from trusted access outcomes. And that's why we were happy to bring management for Apple Watch and Apple Vision Pro this year to Jamf Pro including support for automated device enrollment for Apple Vision Pro with Vision OS 2.0. All of these features add up to our support for new operating systems to enable you to upgrade the second you need to and to be able to buy that new hardware as soon as it's available. 
And of course, we've been working to support Apple in your current environment, but we've also been looking toward the future. Earlier during the keynote, you heard us talk about reimagining Apple device management with the possibilities powered by declarative device management. We introduced blueprints, the underpinning key technology to enable the declarative workflows that are most important to you. These tools will be shared across Jamf solutions for a powerful same-day ready configuration framework that'll power your continued Apple success. Really excited about this, and I wanna show you a little bit more about what Blueprints can do, so we're gonna have a quick demo. Bring into the stage senior consulting engineer Rob Potvin. Give him a welcome, if you would. Great. So during the keynote, you saw us work with a couple key security functionalities, and that was passcode compliance, and then also disk and local network uh, access. And so we're gonna add a little bit more to that, because that's a great start, but there's definitely more work to do. And so we're going to log into Jamf Pro, and we're gonna visit the Blueprints UI. It's so shiny, I love it. And we'll go ahead and click a new Blueprint in the upper right. And we're gonna see this component library pop out from the right side. And like I said, we gotta add in a few more components here. And so we're gonna start with Safari Extension Management. Now Safari Extension Management will allow us to set extensions either as allowed, disallowed, or always on for different uh, web capabilities that you might be working with. And in our case, our IT team has asked us to work with the Okta Verify plugin, Okta Browser plugin, excuse me, so we'll go ahead and paste that in. We'll go ahead and say that it's always on. And because this protects our important corporate passwords, we're gonna say that it's always on for our work domains. So we'll go ahead and type in the work domain, we'll hit save. There's definitely a little bit more work to do here. We've heard you tell us that you need to protect local services on macOS. So let's go ahead and grab that service configuration component, we'll drag it in and configure it. And we have a lot of options here. Eventually, we're gonna be working on uh, asset hosting that'll allow us to upload a zip file here. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and just work with the, the path that our IT team gave us. And the 64-digit hash, that's super memorable, and we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. And we're gonna say which service that we're managing right now. And so what's gonna happen once this declaration reaches our managed Mac is that it's gonna go download that zip file, it's gonna compare it against that hash, and then it's going to expand it in a local tamper-resistant location and apply this setting for the SSHD service in a way that will prohibit a local admin user from modifying the service further. So this applies, a, yeah. Just a ton of extra security right here. And of course, down at the bottom, we could add additional configurations, but we're gonna stick with SSHD, but you're not limited there. You can take care of that sudoers file if you need to. And we'll go ahead and hit click create blueprint. Give it a name, thank you. And we'll deploy it to our test devices because we're responsible admins who definitely don't test in prod. And now we'll be able to see it happen on our devices. So this is Blueprints. We're really, really excited about it. Please come by the Expo booth to learn more about uh, all of these things. But in the meantime, I wanna point out that we have accomplished password management, passcode management, uh, Safari extensions, service configuration, and uh, what was the last one? Disk and network access. All with just a few clicks. My friend Rob here hasn't even broken a sweat. We have checked off all of the security boxes. This is a really great start. So very excited about Blueprints. Thank you, Rob, for showing us more. All right. Now besides declarative device management, we are taking you further with another Apple technology and that's managed device attestation. Managed device attestation brings strong assurance of a device's identity that it's legitimate right at the moment of enrollment, populated into your MDM inventory, allowing you to do sorting, grouping, and reporting. This is a new line of defense from advanced attackers that might be trying to gain access to your sensitive resources by spoofing an illegitimate Apple device. So at that time of enrollment, get that extra sense of assurance the device is legitimate, 
And then after that, you can use Jamf's network relay service as an extension of Jamf Pro, which is the best way to keep Apple devices connected and productive. But you don't have to use ours. You can actually roll your own network relay with our supported configuration profile payload for secure tunneling without a VPN. And we support Automated Certificate Management Environment, or ACME, certificate payloads as a, an update to the legacy SCEP. All of this combined leads to a revolutionized new onboarding workflow, super cool, and you're definitely gonna wanna check out the breakout session tomorrow, revolutionize your device onboarding and security, excuse me, later today uh, at 3.30. So all of this means that we have spent a lot of time strengthening the foundation of our products, extending toward the future, but we also recognize that organizations have unique needs and different management security requirements. More than that, admins really like to play with new stuff, right? So I am delighted to announce a new sidekick utility called Declarations Explorer that uses the same backend services as blueprints to allow you to try key declarative workflows to manage and secure your devices. The same stuff that we've worked with today, passcodes, Safari extension, service configuration, disk and manage network management, uh, all of those will be available, plus a whole lot more. If you're interested to try it, this will be available as a prototype for Jamf Cloud customers late this fall. And there is also a brain date to show you more about it and if you find the right people in the Jamf Expo booth, we'll be happy to show it off. Okay, we've been focusing on making your job easier, but we know that managing, just managing Apple devices, that's just not enough anymore. Security is an absolutely critical piece of an IT admin's day to day. And like we said earlier during the keynote, security has to be simple. So we have been working to redefine the boundaries between management and security to meet the requirements of the modern workplace. And here's Milland to tell us more. Hello, good morning, Jamf Nation. My name is Milan Patel, and I'm really excited to talk to you about some of our continued efforts in helping you to manage your Mac and mobile feeds. You might recall from last year at JNUC when we spoke to you about Trusted Access. Trusted Access is an outcome that helps deliver device management, user identity, and endpoint protection. With Trusted Access, we can ensure that only trusted users on enrolled, safe devices are able to access your sensitive corporate data, allowing us to increase protections for your workplace whilst ensuring that we're streamlining work for our end users. Now, we've talked a lot today about going deeper with Champ's full stack of capabilities to advance that trusted access journey. We know that security is a must have, but it needs to be easier. And you shouldn't need to feel like you're a security expert to feel confident that you're able to keep your data, your users, and your organization more secure. Earlier, we've talked about some powerful workflows already, like declarative device management and blueprints, compliance benchmarks in Champ Pro, privilege elevation, and endpoint telemetry. All of these are critical in helping you to achieve Apple's success. But we aren't done. There's some additional ways that we can bring Jam security solutions into your IT tech stack. Now, if you aren't done with live demos, let's bring on Daniel uh, to the stage, and we'll go through some more. <laughs> security really starts with visibility. We know that without visibility into our devices and what's happening on them, it can be very hard to define our security strategy and our policies. Endpoint telemetry in Jam Protect allows you to have deep, real-time insights into the security operations that, that fuel security operations and IT management. We first launched this capability in 2022, and since then, we've continued to evolve this capability in order to help you to have early identification of security issues, as well as address digital and user experience concerns. For example, we can do this through advanced monitoring of app crashes and system performance, or by monitoring for unused software on our devices. And the earlier we can identify these issues, the earlier we can take action so that we can tackle them before they become bigger problems. 
All of this is in service of us making a smoother, efficient, and more secure experience for our end users. We know that at the intersection of security and, and the digital end user experience is applications. We know that vulnerability management has been a long-standing problem within the industry. All devices and software have vulnerabilities or gaps that can be exploited. So organizations need a process uh, to be able to address these vulnerabilities in a timely manner. Especially as an organization, you get bigger and you become a much more visible target for, your, for attackers. With ChamProtect, we're able to provide a powerful, easy to use solution that leverages both MDM and ZTNA foundations in order to provide you visibility, remediation, and subsequent policy enforcement. So we can do this by providing you a comprehensive view into OS and app vulnerabilities that exist on your devices. And by integrating with Jav Pro, we can allow for zero or one-click remediation solutions. But sometimes, automated patching isn't viable, or maybe a critical patch for a vulnerability doesn't exist. So in this case, we can signal that risk into Jav Connect in order to ensure that these risky, insecure devices aren't able to access your sensitive data. Now, of course, one of the easiest ways to tackle app vulnerabilities is through proactively updating our applications with app installers. We know that manual workflows can be very time consuming and inefficient. So we worked hard to ensure that we're able to help you to streamline that process, allowing you to reduce your mean time to patch. What this means for us is faster updates for you, better security for the organization, and less downtime for our users, so they can get back to being productive. Now, not all risk can be mitigated so proactively. We know that monitoring for suspicious behavior is a real challenge for IT admins. And the security landscape is always evolving, and there's never a shortage of actions that you need to get done. To help you, we've tapped into the expertise of Jamf Threat Labs in order to bring you advanced threat controls within Jamf Protect. With advanced threat controls, you can have easier security by detecting and blocking suspicious high-risk activities from the get-go. It builds upon our endpoint threat prevention uh, capability so that you have protection before, during, and after execution. For example, we can reduce the attack surface by ensuring that we're limiting the entry points that an attacker can use. By boosting protection against foulless malware that traditional antivirus may fail to catch. And by defending against living off the land techniques, we can ensure that we're stopping attackers from using legitimate system tools against us. That's it for the demos today. Thank you so much, Daniel. Please give him a round of applause. Now, advanced threat controls is based on real-world attack data observed by a Jam Threat Labs team, and it continues to be updated through their research. When a threat is blocked, you'll just get a simple alert letting you know what had happened and that the issue was automatically resolved. With Jam Protect, you get stronger security with less effort, and that is really our focus at the moment. But many of you in the audience might be using other security tools as well. You don't have to worry. Not only can Jam's powerful endpoint security solutions work with your existing tools, but they can also help amplify the value that you're getting out of them. For example, many of you in the audience might be using Splunk. As Splunk users, you can leverage endpoint telemetry in order to amplify the value that you get from Splunk by proactively threat hunting and supercharging your incident response efforts. And to make that even easier for you, we built the Splunk add-on for Jam Protect, which allows you to extend your stock monitoring that you might already be doing onto your Mac and mobile devices as well. All of this is in service of helping you to get started immediately on day one. Now, some of you might also be using certain tools for more preventative measures. Here, We've been working with our partners closely in order to provide real-time security and risk metadata about Apple devices. Data such as the device's management state, the device's overall risk posture, as well as the device's compliance state. This information is critical in helping us to make access and security decisions. And it's never been available, oh, sorry, available so completely for Apple devices before. Together, what we can do is make Apple devices more compatible, secure, and preferred within an organization's IT stack. Now, of course, these aren't the only integrations that we have. 
we've, as you heard earlier, we've really been focused this year on making the JAF platform much more flexible and much more highly integrable. We already have hundreds of solutions in the JAF marketplace, so you can do more with what you already have and are invested in. The bottom line, whether you care about compliance, you want to improve threat hunting, incident, incident response, IT workflows, or you're just focused on improving the digital end user experience, Jamf is the connective tissue that can help you to up-level your existing tools and your existing workflows. And speaking of the digital end user experience, let's please welcome back Katie back to the stage to talk about supporting our users with mobile devices. Thank you, Milland. Organizations that support deskless employees have to balance user needs and management and security standards. Those that support mobile first and Apple technology, like iPads and iPhones, must optimize for efficient, secure on the job tools. The majority of the world's workers, 80% or 2.7 billion people, don't work while sitting at a desk. These are industries like healthcare, transportation, retail, education, manufacturing, and field service. And these workers are on the go. They work room to room, from a vehicle, in a large open space inside a building, or even outdoors. And the roles that they fill are frontline workers, operational staff, nurses, pilots, flight mechanics, and cashiers. This mobile workforce engages in their technology in a way that is often time sensitive and task oriented but 60% of deskless workers report a lack of satisfaction or feel the need for improvement in the tools they use. Organizations offer mobile devices to deskless workers to be more efficient and to simplify workflows, but they need to implement, manage, and secure these workflows to be productive in practice. Jamf enables deskless roles to succeed with capabilities for modern work tools designed to operate together right out of the box including delivering an Apple-first, Apple-best experience by building on native Apple frameworks, performing over-the-air management and security tasks without interrupting the end user, streamlining security by simplifying IT workflows and redundant processes, supporting end user needs for efficient, reliable tech that helps them do their jobs better, and remaining reliable and compatible with every new operating system release. And once you're past that out of the box phase and the device is in use, we enable return to service workflows via tools on the Jamf marketplace for quick, secure transitions between shifts. With the combined Jamf technology, organizations can establish, implement, and scale mobile deployments to fit their specific use case and enable the deskless worker, ensuring their tech keeps them moving. So let's bring a deskless use case to life. I'm happy to introduce a couple organizations that have really creative solutions for the mobile workforce. First, One Global, a device and communication solution that provides for simplified provisioning, optimized network performance, cost-effective management that empowers business with uninterrupted global connectivity, and Suit Supply a personalized tailor and styling company that provides each of their employees an iOS device connected from anywhere to customize the experience for customers purchasing their next suit. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Hakan Koch from One Global and Tuan Shulton from Suit Supply. Other side, there we go. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us. So, Hakan, thank you for joining us, and I know you traveled a long way to be here. Yes, I Can you tell us a little bit about how the integration of the eSIM with Jamf Pro Management uh, has enabled mobile devices for large global workforces like Suit Supplies? So, One Global is a global enterprise telco, right? We, we solely focus on people who have the needs of rolling out large user groups and, uh, and large groups of devices, and eSIM is the key to that, because you want you don't want to go in a store and get a SIM card, and actually it's not possible anymore because Apple caught many people off guard with the iPhone 14, 15, now 16. There is no SIM slot anymore in the US, so what do you do? 
And uh, we're the only telco that owns their own ESIM server. You have to think about it. For everyone else, it's a vendor. For everyone else, it's like, oh, we've got 20 million chips, some cards, and let's get one electronic one and, and just make it happen. For us, it's really about the journey. We think ESIM first, API first. So this is a phenomenal partnership. We love it. We love the use case where we want zero touch, zero trust, zero effort. And the poster child for this was Suit Supply, who called us and said, we are a multinational organization. We have people in dozens of countries, over 1,000 people. We want to give everybody an iPhone, but we don't want to drive there. We don't want to meet them. We don't want to break out SIM cards, and, uh, and we don't want to collect them afterwards when, when they uh, decide uh, not to be with us anymore. So what do we do? And that's where the magic of eSIM happens, and uh, I'm very excited about this. Awesome. Thank you. And Tuan, how have these mobile devices with One Global eSIM and Jamf Pro actually changed the day-to-day -day work for your 1,200 devices in 12 countries? Uh, yeah, basically, we at Suit Supply, we like to uh, basically do everything as personal as possible. You're getting a suit, so you want a personal treatment. And uh, we use the, these devices. I mean, you, you book an appointment with a style advisor or a tailor, uh, and the, the tailor knows up front what's your goal of the visit, where you're coming from, for a wedding suit, for a more casual look, for anything. So up front, he knows what, or she, what's the uh, goal of the visit, uh, which sizes the customer have, it's a returning customer. Uh, if we have his sizes on stock, or do they need to be altered, what's your preferred way of contact this? So basically, all of that information is right in the pocket of the style advisor in the store, including uh, the point of sales. So basically, as soon as you enter the store until you leave, the style advisor stays with you, uh, and has everything in the pocket. So you don't have to go to a cash desk. It's just more convenient and more personal. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, Hakan, how does Jamf Pro plus an eSIM provisioned from One Global actually enhance security? So I think when you think about the SIM card, and in a couple of years, we will think, it's like when you go in an old castle hotel and they give you these large keys, and you think, how did they use this for security? So the physical SIM card will be the same. Because now you have... RFID badges, and you can issue them remotely, you can revoke them remotely, and, and eSIM is the same. It's the same cryptographic principle. You've got hardware secure elements on your phone, that, uh, and there is a GSMA protocol that manages this security. So when you think about zero trust, the biggest concerns we have these days is SIM swap fraud, two-factor authentication through SMS, um, SIM usage fraud, where employees might take the enterprise SIM, put it in another device, or the other way around, where you want to use an un unauthorized device or SIM, vice versa. And we can lock all of this down, but by providing a better user experience. So you can literally just, and we'll show it in a minute, you set up a brand new phone, it's shrink wrapped, you enter your credentials, and you've got your SIM, you've got your number, he doesn't do anything anymore, you've got your SSO provider, could be Okta, could be Entra, and you, could, you just set your user up, they set up their phone, and that's it. Yeah? And de depending on their role, because we're a global telco, they get a US phone number or a UK phone number or we port their number or a German number. So it's like dream come true. Yeah? Real zero touch, real zero trust. And, uh, and they are also, when you think about the SIM, it's also authenticating you to other use cases. We have enterprise customers that say, I don't want my device to be connected to the internet. Please put it in my... Cloud firewall, I want on a network level, as the telco on the, on the OSI layer, we are much lower, right? We are, we are on your transmission layer. So we can already at that point bring belts and suspenders to your cybersecurity. We can say, this thing doesn't go to the internet. This actually goes to the corporate firewall. So what's the key to that? The SIM. So I don't want a physical SIM floating around that anybody can put in any device. I want to assign this, the highly secure cryptographic principles, and that's what eSIM enables us. Boy, that really sounds like trusted access. You can tell why we like this story. Now, Hakan just mentioned that you don't have anything to do, but that's not really true. But you can tell us a little bit about how this has reduced IT overhead in yeah. your organization. Well, it's partially too, because we set it up beginning this year. Uh, I was the one who did it uh, together with uh, One Global. And basically, in the six months after, I didn't touch it. Uh, we, we built everything role-based, so it doesn't really matter if there's like 20 devices or 2,000 devices. Uh, we use Entra ID, so every job description tells you where you're at, which store you're at, so you get a US or a German number. And because of that, basically, 
unified approach, uh, we decreased all the support scenarios back to one because it's the same uh, all over the world. Doesn't matter where you go, you just unbox a new iPhone, log in with your suit, uh, suit supply credentials, we will show it uh, in the demo, and that's about it. So we took all the user effort out, except, except of logging in, and for the support scenarios, because it's iPhones, they're all connected with an eSIM. Uh, if there is support needed, they're always connected. So we can basically manage them and give them remote support anywhere, even when they're not uh, connected to the store Wi-Fi, for example. Awesome. Now, we've alluded to it a couple times, but we've got a video of the real-time provisioning process. So we'll go ahead and bring that up. And uh, once it's up, I'm hoping you can kind of show us or tell yeah. us what we're seeing here. Yeah, basically this is the out-of-box experience as we ship uh, new phones to the stores. Uh, store employee has, of course, a suit supplier account. They uh, connect the phone to Wi-Fi, log in with their suit supplier address, and that's basically the longest part of, uh, of this whole demo. Then in the background, all the apps start loading, and you have to be really quick, because in the demo it's really short. You see the SIM card provisioning and activated. We created this demo account for a New York style advisor, and basically he gets all the apps, uh, inventory management from the New York store, uh, US New York uh, number, and all the POS already attached to the New York store. Basically, so for the end user, it's grabbing a phone, log in, and that's it. And also for the support scenarios, I mean, if a phone breaks, they just go to the back of house, take a spare one, start all over, and everything is there again. Awesome. And the whole process takes about a minute and a half? And yeah, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection, but I would say about two minutes. And yeah. then everything is set up and from unboxing tailor... it to using it. And the tailor's just good to go? They're good to go, yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. It's still the loading. This is go. where it downloads all the profiles, and that's what I said. It depends on the, on the Wi-Fi connection. Yep. But the SIM card is installed like basically an app on the background, and if you go to settings and you're really quick, you can see it happen. But if not, it's, it's just there. And for the, I mean, when you're setting up an iPhone, you don't watch the screen, everything. So basically, they log in, and, and they put it away, and then they pick it up, and everything is there. They're good to go. Great. Now, Hakan, for your session tomorrow, a little bit of spoilers for that session, but ah. in the description, you describe a 90% reduction in admin effort to swap mobile devices, or mobile providers, excuse me. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happens? Yeah. So, we, we serve big multinationals, and we have one American financial services company, and the admin told me, Hakan to stage a phone I need 90 days. And it was nearly, I wanted to get up and hug him yeah, and cry together. So it's, there's three people you don't want to have hassle. The CISO and the cybersecurity department, because who gets which them, which role, which access. The second is the whole admin organization. It might be multi-tiered. It might be a central org with a crosstalk warehouse and then bringing it to the bank building and the local person and then uh, coordinating with the user. And you don't want the hassle for the user. And uh, with the solution that we've shown, Literally on Monday, you give us the API key to Jamf Pro. We set you up in 15, 20 minutes. On Tuesday, you can click a button and distribute to 20,000 devices anywhere on the planet. You could be in the airline distributing SIM cards to 10,000 iPads. And then from Wednesday, we can start porting numbers. Uh, we can bring in your US numbers, UK numbers, German numbers, whatever you want. And, uh, and there are special use cases. I mean, the funny thing about telco is sometimes we make it really hard to onboard customers. You really have to fight for your SIM or eSIM. Uh, or even activation. Uh, we have a use case uh, where there's a corporation that has employees abroad, yeah, deep down in Central Africa, and they need to port a number. And uh, the, the, the mobile network says, oh, to port a number, you have to be in the US. So please fly over, uh, connect to a network, and then we can port your number. So there, there are use cases you wouldn't even think about. Obviously, an Eastern for us doesn't make a difference. So this is a digital product. It's like an email. It's like an app. We can send it to you and your, and your user all secure, all managed, and it doesn't matter where you are, and it doesn't matter how many there are. So we have no limitation. We will provision 100,000 SIMs for you. You can have shared plans. It doesn't matter. It should really not be, we cannot be your burden to bring people online. And we were chatting with Tuan. He told me about the pop-up store um, where they, the, 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 the network connectivity wasn't there yet. They needed music in the store. So they just decided, take a brand new iPad, deploy one of our SIM cards, buy two speakers, and boom, there's, there's your store connectivity, there's your music. So it needs to be ad hoc. Yeah? It needs to be like, boom, join my Wi-Fi. It's like, boom, join my mobile network. There's no reason anymore in 2024 that that does not work. 
Awesome. So Tuan, beyond all of these amazing operational impacts, what is the actual day-to-day -day experience for a customer like? Uh, basically, it helps to uh, provide us the most tailored and personal experience as possible because the, basically as it starts when you make your online appointment, if you even do. As soon as you enter the store, uh, people will know you're coming, so the style advisor or tailor will stick with you for the whole shopping experience. And also, even after the shopping experience sort of ends, because, well, it's a suit that needs to be made or altered for your, for your sizes, uh, we, we know the preferred way of contact for a customer, some like, just like a call, some like a text, some like an email, uh, but it also works the other way around. So if we know that a customer, a frequent customer says, well, this is exactly a suit he or she would wear, then we can reach out to the customer on a personal level with a tailor they know. So it works both ways to basically get everything as, as personal and one-on-one -on -one, uh, as possible, because we think that does a lot better than a mass email to everyone. So it's secure, efficient, and you end up looking great at the end. This is a, a wonderful story. Thank you so much for coming to tell us. Uh, and I already alluded to it, but you have a dedicated session, and this is tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. about distributing eSIMs for organizations. Please join me in thanking Hakan and Tuan from One Global and Suit Supply. Thank you. And you'll be on hand at the Jamf Expo Hall this week as well. Yep. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And I'll hand it back to Milland. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. What an interesting use case, I'm sure you'll all agree. Now let's switch gears a little bit and look at another use case for mobile devices. According to Resume Builder, about 90% of organizations are looking to have a return to work policy or are going to implement one by the end of 2024. What that means for our end users is that they need to go and find and dust off those old plastic risky key cards. They're risky because they can get lost, stolen, or just fall into the wrong hands. Now, managing access to your physical spaces needs to be the very same as managing access to your applications and your data. What that means is, just as you're doing with your applications, we need to ensure that the right people have secure access to the right spaces. Now, last year at JNUG, we demoed an exciting new workflow for getting back into the office, one that replaces traditional access cards. Employee Badge with Jamf Trust enables you to have trusted access for your office spaces. So instead of employees using old physical key cards, they can now start to use new digital and secure badges instead. These badges allow you to have seamless access into the office space whilst bridging that gap between the employee's personal devices and a convenient workplace experience. And with mobile integration, you can ensure that they can have clear movement between their personal and their professional worlds as well. And as we do this, again, we're able to enhance security for the workplace while also improving convenience for our users. Now, another growing trend in mobile, one that might be affecting many of you, would be BYOD. Employees' work devices aren't just limited to a single laptop anymore. In fact, a work device is really any device that's accessing work data and carrying out work activities. This includes personally owned mobile phones as well as personally owned tablets as well. Now, work is anywhere and everywhere, but that requires the right type of management and security with it, and one that doesn't interfere with the end user's privacy expectations. Jack provides right-size management for these BYOD devices with the Apple features of account-driven user enrollment, which allows for complete separation of work data as well as personal data. With a set of configurations that associates management with the user by a managed Apple account, rather than the entire device. And to allow for business connectivity on these BYOD devices, we can have Jamf Trust enable connect and protect capabilities. Again, allowing us to ensure that only trusted users on enrolled, safe BYOD devices are able to access our work apps and work data. Con not only that, you're able to control that access in real time. So for example, if a user loses permissions, or we encounter a particular security risk, you can make sure that that device can no longer access company data with it. And for threats to workplace applications within the workspace, Jamf has powerful BYOD workflows so that you can quarantine or remediate that device instantly. Now, we're Apple first and Apple best, but we do know that not everyone has an iPhone. 
For you, we're supporting security capabilities for Android devices, allowing us to ensure that you can deliver a productive experience for your end users whilst retaining a secure baseline for your organization. By extending our robust security to Android devices, we can ensure that you can maintain that security posture across different platforms whilst protecting your apps and your business data regardless of the choice that your employees are making with BYD programs. Whether it's Apple or Android, Jam's comprehensive security solutions that seamlessly integrate into your existing stack allow for uncompromised security. So as an organization, you can focus on what matters most, organization success instead of platform limitations. Now, in the modern workplace, mobile devices are essential tools for productivity, but they do bring security challenges for IT admins. Mobile threats are very real. We know that because as third-party applications can increase in usage as well, so do the risks. Jamf is here to help make managing and securing mobile much more simpler and much more easier. Our teams of threat researchers, cybersecurity experts, and data scientists make up Jamf Threat Labs. And through their ongoing research, they can help protect you and your organization. In 2023, they found many new threats, including Social Engineering 2.0, which again continues to highlight this growing trend within mobile security. In our Security 360 annual trends report this year, we also noted that 1% of devices and 2% of organizations are harboring potentially unwanted and risky applications. Now, these might seem like small percentages, but with billions of mobile devices being used worldwide, that's millions of potentially compromised devices around us. Even if we look around at this particular conference, with thousands of mobile devices surrounding us, that's a significant room full of devices that are harboring these potentially unwanted applications and could pose a security risk. Now, often attackers just need a single weak point in a system in order to gain access into your systems and wreak further havoc. Meaning that if you do have unvetted applications or just applications that are using excessive permissions that they don't really need, these can lead to serious security incidents. And as the uh, risk of third-party app stores grows, we need to do more and more in order to ensure that we're able to manage and mitigate that risk. Recently, we've also seen the introduction of Apple threat notifications for targets of specific mercenary spyware. These attacks often cost millions of dollars and often have a very short shelf life. What that means is they're much more harder to detect and prevent using conventional means. Now, the majority of users will never be targeted by any of these attacks, but for those that are, we have Jamf Executive Threat Protection, our advanced detection and response solution specifically built for mobile devices. Jamf Executive Threat Protection allows you and empowers you to both detect and destroy sophisticated mobile attacks, even if you're not an expert. Now, we've talked about Jamf Threat Labs a little bit today. Jamf Threat Labs continues to be at the heart of everything we do within Jamf Security Solutions through their deep research into sophisticated attacks specifically focused on Mac and mobile devices. Now, on the mobile side, they continue to see ongoing signs of Pegasus. Recently, they discovered two iPhones with exhibiting new indicators of compromised IOCs, telling us that this ongoing spyware campaign continues to persist. It shows us that attackers continue to target both old as well as new devices with this spyware. Now, they can get quite sophisticated, and in order to see how sophisticated they can get, I wanted to play a little game of spot the difference to see you know, how easily it is to potentially dupe users. And I, maybe sort of you within the audience, you know, are you going to be able to spot uh, what's a legitimate uh, system scenario and what's an illegitimate one? So one of their discoveries has been fake airplane mode. With fake airplane mode, what they're doing is allowing the user to think that their device is offline, but in fact, attackers have network access continued on the device so they can further leverage their presence. With fake lockdown mode, they can lull our users into a false sense of security. So the end user thinks that advanced protections brought by Apple are present within the devices, but they actually aren't. And with fake iOS update, they're duping, again, users into thinking that they're taking the right actions to update their devices in order to help the organization. But in fact, the device hasn't been really updated and continues in a vulnerable state. Now, this might all sound very scary, but we're not here to spread fear and doubt, but rather to equip you with the right tools and training instead of um, just fear. Now, this is important. With the right education, 
you being informed on these issues. And by, providing, by us providing you with the right tools and training, we can empower you to make informed decisions to protect your business and your data. Now, a lot of you in the audience might already be in a very good state with management. And if you do have mobile, sorry, if you do have endpoint protection for your Mac devices, you can easily extend that to your mobile devices as well. And if you do have a pre-existing solution, we can easily integrate with that solution and help elevate the value that you're getting from it. So you can build a robust solution for your Mac and mobile devices. Now, we've spoken about uh, quite a few topics at a high level today. If any of you are interested in digging deeper into these specific topics in order to help integrate that mobile into your strategy and defending against modern threats, do check out some of these sessions today. Phishing remains one of the most prevalent techniques used by attackers uh, in the world today. Check out Jamf Bait and Tackle, delivered by Alex, who, where you will be able to go forward with actionable takeaways that you can start to implement as early as tomorrow. Adam will deliver a presentation on how you can protect against the full spectrum of mobile threats facing modern work. And for any of you that are interested in digging into the, into the most sophisticated mobile attacks out in the wild today, check out Defending Against Nation State Level Threats by Talon Braden. All of these sessions and many more you know, will help you to, will help both you and your organization on your journey towards trusted access and uh, allow you overall to make a much more secure and productive user experience for your end users on their devices. Now, it's been really exciting to talk to you about security today. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great JNUC. And with that, I'll pass it back to Katie to close us off. Thank you. OK, today you've heard us talk about Mac and mobile, management and security. And what brings all of these things together is trusted access. And you've heard us talk about trusted access a lot over the years. We introduced it in San Diego in 2022. We brought it to Austin in 2023. You've heard it at our Jamf Spring events and the Jamf Nation Live events abroad. Trusted Access is a full combination of solutions to help you manage and secure your devices and protect organizational data. And ultimately, this will allow you to become the Apple IT hero in your organization. Jamf remains your partner to success. We also know Apple's gonna be there along the way too. Thank you so much for listening today. It's been an exciting day. We've been able to bring you so much cool stuff and Jamf has never done with our mission to help organizations succeed with Apple. Please feel free to bring questions to the breakout sessions, to the expo hall. Uh, there's a lot of smart people around here that are happy to help this week. I hope you have a great JNUC. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to our partners. Thank you to Milland, our helper demo to helpers, uh, Daniel and Rob, our guests, Hakan and Tuan. Thank you so much for coming. Have an excellent JNUC and enjoy Nashville.